Hello everyone. In this video, uh, we will be learning about uh, Nest CLI and certain commands uh, that will help you speed up in your development process. So open up your terminal and type here nest dash dash l. So you should be able to get a table like this. So you can see uh, you can perform certain commands like this. Uh, this command that we performed in our very first video when we started our uh, NestJS project Nest New. This build command is used for building NestJS application, which we will be seeing like after in, in, in the very end of the videos when we uh, build our project. Uh, this is that the command that we daily use to start our project. This command info is uh, used to get information about uh, your project details and this is to add certain libraries which we haven't uh, really added right now uh, which we will do also in our future future videos so in this video i will be uh, mostly focusing on this generate command and show you the magic of it so for now we have like uh, created modules controllers and uh, providers uh, by our own hands but nest cli allows us to create with the hitting of a one command let's see uh, let's try and create a module uh, so nest you have to type nest and generate or for short form you can type g and then let's suppose we just want to create a module so type you can type either module or it's alias which is mo so mo and let's type it for example Shamil. so you should see that in source we currently only have app module because this is a very uh, starting project and see uh, the command is completed and we have now have a shamil directory here and then in this we have shamil module we have all the boiler plate code as well as folders structured here as well as this shamil module will also be by default imported over here so nest cli does all of it itself we don't have to do all of these importing creating uh, by our own hands we just have to enter the command let's now create a controller uh, which is like the same name of shamil so go to the shamil.module and let this command complete see now we have a shamil controller and we should have a file here as well as a test file uh, it is a boiler code here a uh, boilerplate code and this is a spec file here and you can see it shouldn't be here in app module because we already are importing shamil module so the controller is only imported within shamil module other than that you can also try uh, not just controller uh, but as well as service nest the service and let's save it shamil and wait for a second see uh, now we also have shamil service imported within providers and shamil service file created over here so this is like pretty cool you don't have to write the entire boiler plate code and then import it here and there uh, you can do it within nest cli commands as well but there is something really cool as well uh, which is i think this resource it helps you generate a crud resource so let's see what does this mean so we have to type nest g and uh, resource r e s s and let's name it let's suppose user and hit enter now you should be able to see yeah now we have certain options so it is asking which type of resource uh, we actually want to create whether it is rest api graphql graphql actually have two types uh code first and schema first and for graphql let me show you that you can also separately create a resolver here uh, like this uh, or you can you know uh, just use a this magic resource thing you can also create a non-http microservice as well as web sockets we are currently going through rest api so just let's go for rest api and hit enter so it is asking would you like to generate a cred entry points let's say yes and hit enter see it is now creating user controller uh, user controller or spec file user module user service user service dot spec file dto or uh, two files of dto create an update we haven't learned what dto is but we will surely learn it in our future videos that is data transfer object we will deeply cover it in our future videos and then entity and it then updated package.json file as well as app.module file so let's first go to app module file you can see we have now user module which is successfully imported in our module file like the very first step that is done here right now let's go towards user 
module okay see we have so many files here let's go towards module in module uh let me change the end of the line to lf okay in module we have a controller as well as a, we have a provider and if you go to the controller you can see we already have a lot of CRUD endpoints so you see uh it gives you uh by default all of the CRUD points like create update uh, read and delete uh so this is like a pretty cool stuff that nascli gives you uh by default and you know why this plus is there this is some sort of javascript magic you know uh google this out okay so this was all about um nest cli uh, like most basic commands and the command that should help you speed up your development process thank you very much